Hello fellow Lamberters, Saul here. After the culmination of our three and a half years of passion, we launched Lords of the Fallen, our debut game at Hexworks. We were truly humbled when we saw that in just over a week, there were already over a million of you embarking upon the wall of Morrisset. Your belief in our vision has been our driving force. Today, we'd like to take the opportunity to share some insights on our transformative new update that will redefine your future playthroughs. We take immense pride in Lords of the Fallen, being amongst the first ever games to launch on Unreal Engine 5, and the very first action RPG to do so. It is in part thanks to this amazing technology that we were able to overlay two parallel walls on top of each other, with the ability to switch instantly between them both. We wanted to bring something entirely new and innovative to the genre, something that would provide a unique twist. That said, this innovation, coupled with a brand new game engine, meant we were navigating completely uncharted territory from a technical standpoint. Furthermore, we aspire to elevate the genre's prevailing online multiplayer mechanic with our seamless co-op mode. In contrast to other games in the genre, players stay together after defeating a boss for as long as they desire. While a full co-op campaign was beyond our original scope, we firmly believe that this stands as one of the very best multiplayer experiences currently available within the action RPGs. Despite our best efforts, some people experience unforeseen technical issues when Lords of the Fallen first launched. And you rightfully brought it up to our attention. We've taken your feedback very seriously and acted as swiftly as possible to bring the game in line with our vision. We've released over 30 updates to address gameplay feedback and all technical hiccups, which in many cases only occurred on very specific PC hardware. As a result, we are delighted to confirm that the likelihood of any in-game crash is now less than 1%. Save game hitches have been fully resolved and frame rate has been significantly improved across all platforms. Likewise, our online multiplayer experience is now more stable and more responsive than ever has been. In light of the game's enduring popularity, we made the decision to expand its period of life support and in early November, we built an ambitious post-launch roadmap, encompassing several significant content updates alongside with continuous smaller releases. We've added tons of new content, like new armors, new weapons, mini bosses, new quests, and we've also taken the opportunity to address the most popular user feedback. Enemy density has been reduced, boss difficulty has been increased, and we've added numerous quality of life improvements. I'm pleased to say that the Lords of the Fallen experience is the best it's ever been, and it's about to get even better I'm delighted to introduce the final stage of the Lords of the Fallen free content roadmap, the Master of Fate update. Whether you purged the five beacons in the name of Aureus, reveled in their Rugar corruption as the champion of Adir, or even sided with the all-consuming entity, otherwise known as the Umbral Mother, a brand new and totally unique game experience now awaits those who've completed Lords of the Fallen. Forge your own destiny with the Master of Fate update, which introduces a fully-fledged new game modifier system, empowering players to completely customise subsequent playthroughs of Lords of the Fallen. Adjust mob density, randomise loot drops and enemy types, and even enable permadeath with the Iron Man modifier, for an all-new Rogue Light challenge for only the most battle-hardened of Crusaders. These new gameplay modifiers are completely optional and can be applied to either the New Game Plus or Reset World option you're presented with when completing an initial playthrough. You're free to select as many as you want, with multiple configurations guaranteed to result in some truly unique experiences. Plus, there's new achievements for all new gameplay features. And fear not, you'll always have the option to reset the world at any vestige, in case you were a little too ambitious in your choices. So, let's take a look at the options. For players looking to create a one-of-a-kind adventure with every playthrough, the all-new randomizers really turn New Game Plus on its head. In random enemy mode, every encounter will be completely unpredictable, with absolutely any of the 70-plus enemy types able to spawn. 
Perhaps you'll face a dreaded marauder in the opening hours, or a patrol of skin stealers with but a slither of health remaining. Similarly, with random loot spawns, there's no knowing what item you'll pick up next. Whether you're opening a chest or soul flaying an umbral belly, literally any weapon, armor, or one of the other numerous items can be found at any point in the game. Perhaps a super OP dual handed battle axe lies just around that corner. Though at the same time, there's every chance it'll turn out to be that bottom of the barrel shield. In the RNG gods we trust. And speaking of loot, there's also the pre upgraded loot modifier, ensuring all weapons, shields, and catalysts found come pre upgraded based on your player level. For the ultimate get good challenge, select Iron Man. If slain in Axiom, you'll still resurrect an Umbral for a second chance to survive. But suffer defeat in this nightmarish realm, and that's the end of your adventure. Instead of reviving at a vestige, you'll restart at the very beginning of the game, albeit retaining your player level and items. Pair this with our loot randomizer, and you've effectively turned Lords of the Fallen into a bona fide roguelite experience. By selecting the Withered Healing option, you'll no longer replenish health through normal means. Instead, when you use your Sanguine Arix or other consumable to heal, you will only receive Wither, meaning you'll have to play aggressively for any chance of survival. Vestiges are the saving grace for many a Dark Crusader. With the Vestige Decay modifier, you can adjust the number of vestiges you'll encounter in your Crusade across Mornstead. Or you can even remove them altogether for the ultimate challenge of endurance. And if all that's not challenging enough, there's the More Enemies modifier, which increases the number of formidable foes you'll encounter throughout a playthrough. So, whether you want to make the game easier, harder, or simply rearrange a few things for an equally unpredictable second, third, or even fourth journey through Mornstead, become a master of fate with our latest update, available now and free for all owners of Lords of the Fallen.